Hello everyone. I'm really, really, really sorry I haven't made a video for a while. Been camping for nine days in Dorset. That's it. But, um, yeah, I only got this, um, I only received the camera the day I went off, so couldn't make a video of it. Tested it out while I was on holiday then. Walking around with an antenna attached to a tripod looked a bit ridiculous. 420 line, third inch CCD camera with a 3.6mm lens on it, 12 volt. This is a high model 5.8 gigahertz set. So there's the receiver with a 5 decibel antenna on it. And this is the transmitter. Where is it? There. That's the transmitter. It's 12 volts with its standard 3 decibel antenna. Just mount it on the top there. That just screws onto a bit of plywood there, which also has the pan and tilt mount for the camera. And a set of SG91R servos with metal gear output shafts so it doesn't strip servo things. I run off the flight battery. I know I was going to do it on the um, twin motored one but then don't have enough money to buy the motors so I can't don't have enough any of the same motor so I can't really do that so I just threw it on top of this one instead camera can pan and tilt like that and it can go up and down so here's the um, transmitter with the FreeSky 2.4 gig set it seems to have exactly the same antenna as the 5.8 gigahertz video thing so I don't know what that's all about whether they're different inside or anything transmitter on receiver on and plug the motor so it doesn't make a bloody loud noise So I've got a um, pan and tilt on that, or well, pan, on the rudder, with the standard rudder there, just there, and I've got pitch of it up there on that knob, so that'll just be something to flick so I can look down and see which way's up basically. So you just turn that on. Plug in the receiver. So I made this adapter it's got a balancing plug there and that is soldered to either side of it and that thing there is just so that I can plug the battery checker in it so that goes on there that then goes into the plug here and the camera's powered up. So you now have a very good view of my feet. Might not be able to see it.
TV setup. I've no idea if it works. But I hope it does. So this is just a mounted onto a bit of plywood, which is under the wing bands. And that's not gonna come off unless it really whacks hard. There it is. Hope you enjoyed that tour around my FPV setup, and I hope to try it out soon. I'm going to probably be getting a video recorder off eBay, which should allow me to plug into this connector, and I'll be able to record through it onto AVI format. Basically, onboard videos are a lot more interesting than just 10 minutes of blurry changing of orientation of a plane going around not being able to see any ground. And it just gives you a headache really. Mm. See you everyone.